Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Thank you so much for being here. So I'm starting the vlog out around noon. It's Saturday. I am going to get Starbucks because I've been up since 4.30. And typically when I get up at 4.30, I go to cycle bar. So it like wakes my body up because it's like physical activity. You know what I mean? Not just like setting stuff up. I mean, it was a little bit active, but not as like intense. You know what I'm saying? So I helped out at the pancake breakfast. It's something that our Rotary Club does in celebration. So I volunteered because my mom typically is the one that like puts on, well, like she doesn't put it on, but she it, like is a main person sometimes in it. I mean, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but she is a major role most of the time. And um, this year she couldn't be there because she had to work. So she's like, oh, you can work, Alex. So I worked it this morning and it was pretty good. Now I definitely need coffee because I'm super, super tired. Now I'm just going to run and cross the street. Try not to get run over here. Got the drink and they made it really well. Looking good, looking good. And I definitely need this because I don't want to take a nap because then if you take a nap, then you're not going to be tired tonight and everything. So tastes so good. I had some Dunkin' this morning, but they had like normal like creamer and whatever, and I didn't really want that. I had it anyway, and it was hot, and it was like kind of hard to like drink, but it was fine. The event itself was really good though. There was a good turnout, especially for there not being like a 5K run this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna have a salad and turkey, I think again. Kind of repetitive, but we don't have anything to eat at our house except for that so we're having pasta tonight for dinner and it's exciting too because i think well the reason why i was gonna go out tonight for halloween but i think i'm not gonna be able to do that because valerie's schedule and stuff allows for her to help me put together my bed tonight so i'm really hoping like that's the game plan for today i also want to do some invisibody studying um i'll probably do that when i get home i don't know oh and i wanted to point out save your stars on the app because this was literally free because i save up the points and i use my friends points too like they just let me scan under their order so it's amazing so when times are tough like today i get a free coffee okay so i thought i'd update the vlog i'm going over the invisible bodies little chapters because i took the quiz um, but like I said, this doesn't really help. So you have to like look it up some other places. Um, so basically I'm just reviewing what's on here. It's not that exciting cause we're just learning about bones and cartilage and different cells, like connected tissues, loose and dense. So yeah, I'm just going over this and getting some notes that I think are important that are probably not important because, because they're not on the questions, but I don't know, I'm trying here, so. All right, so I did most of this workbook, as you guys can see. I am gonna finish the multiple choice, but I'm almost done reading this chapter. I'm on page 117, and it is 941. I can do this, guys. I wanna complete this before 10. <laughs> okay, so obviously didn't get the bed set up, but we're waking up earlier, like early tomorrow to do it. I was gonna go out tonight, but I don't know when I'm gonna do the schoolwork. And if you don't get ahead, you're like behind. Let's just say that. So getting ahead and we have like to unpack all day tomorrow pretty much because Valerie has that in her schedule. So we're gonna do bed. Hopefully that gets done. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for so long. And then I still haven't like really decided if I'm gonna go to my friends. Okay, so it's my, my friend London's boyfriend's twin brother's house. I don't know but they're doing like um, a cheese board wine thing and we're not staying that late because she promised me we'd leave by eight because like I have to get back, you know, to like get in bed for school and all that stuff. So that's the plan for this weekend of my life. It has been super crazy, not very like eventful, um, but that comes with school and stuff, so. Anyway, okay, still where I am, but it is currently 11. Got done with all the workbook, and I know it wasn't that long, but like, trust me, finding those answers is a hard task, but I was also reading, cause like, I feel like 
reading the book just helps because like sometimes there's trick questions. So yeah, that's why it takes so long, but we're done. I'm gonna relax a little bit on the phone and then I have to go to bed pretty soon because I have to get up early, but we're setting up the bed. Okay, it's the next day and basically Valerie could not help me. It's fine, she has like a lot of stuff going on, but I'm gonna try to attempt to get the bed frame put together. I mean, how hard could that be? Like, it could not be that hard. The only part that I need help with is like the mattress part because I think it's gonna be really heavy. And I would ask, I would phone a friend to come help me, but all my friends live so far and it's like, what are they gonna do? Oh, I need help. Can you drive like an hour <laughs> to help me with this mattress? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna do that for like any of my friends. Like all my friends live at least 30 minutes or an hour away from this location. So I'm not gonna do that to any of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna put some pants on. You guys know, y'all know I love the pantless lifestyle <laughs> because it's just more comfortable. So I'm gonna put uh, my shorts on and then I'm gonna try to attempt to at least get the bed frame put together. I mean, other people do it alone. Like, come on, how hard could it be? Okay, so if you guys are wondering, I got this bed frame, this queen bed frame on Amazon. It was like $150, so it wasn't too much. Look, I swear guys, looking at my bank account now, I'm like, do I really need a nightstand? Do I really need a dresser? I don't know, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold off a little bit because those things are like way more expensive. Like, I swear, I think like the dresser costs almost as much as the bed frame so i don't know why i just but also too i wanted like good quality so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling let's just open this on up Okay, and now we're gonna put the soft frame designs bed frame on my bed. So fingers crossed this goes smoothly. Um, the time lapse will be a little bit longer because I'm just gonna let the camera record. But anyway, let's open this on up. You can't really see it because there's a bunch of boxes everywhere right now. All right, so I got this cute little card. This is not sponsored by any means. I paid roughly $900 for this thing. So I will go ahead and link it down below if you guys want a good dupe for the cloud bed, because it looks just like it. I don't know why we have Velcro. <laughs> we might need this, I don't know. But here's the invoice, and then this is just, Velcro strips are provided but aren't necessary since the headboard is lightweight and held in place by your bed. Oh, this is a good key to like how to set it up. So in case you're too stupid, I'm just kidding. So all of the stuff- I might need it. All of the stuff is like the box spring said, easy as one, two, three. So that's why I'm glad that I picked an easy thing to set up. All right, let's go. All right guys, so, so far my bed is everything that I dreamed about. I need to make her up, but it looks like the cloud bed and I'm so happy. 
I moved all these boxes so we could center up, including Sherry, so we could center up the bed. I put my lamp over there so when I turn on the light, it actually turns on. So anyway, I had to push this thing down because the bed was too close. Maybe I'll be able to push it back, I don't know but let's center her up. Also too, one really good thing about the boxes is it's acting as a really good tripod right now. And the completed bed looks like this. It is so cute and it really does look like a cloud. I 100% give this A+, plus, especially if you don't want to be spending $4,000 on a bed frame. Get this one. Well, I mean, it feels I mean, it feels the same as it did before. It's just higher because <laughs> it was on the floor. I guess I could move that down again if I wanted to. But that's why I need to take measurements. Gonna, yeah, it's still going to be kind of tight. Yeah, I know. All right, so room has come along. We've cleared out some of the boxes. We have two more left which is fine. This is a mess, which I don't like, but it's fine. Um, this is what the bed looks like. Found more pillows because we were going through some of the boxes and I found two extra pillows and I was like, oh my goodness, it's a sign. And there we go. Things hang on the wall. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my walls yet, but I just have that stuff there. I know it's there and it matches my room really well. All right, so after a long day, well, not long day, long morning of putting together the furniture or at least my bed and cleaning out a few boxes this is lunch we got some panera okay so i just got out of the shower did the brows and foundation well primer i am just getting ready for this like wine and cheese it's like a jacuri board party little like halloween thing it was kind of like last minute so my friend london was like oh we're having this thing I'm gonna just use the word sister-in-law cause like, I mean, it's not like she's married yet, but like that's kind of like how to describe this. So her sister-in-law um, lives in the Ultima area and so she wanted to like do something. I've never met this person, so, uh, but my friend London was like, oh, why don't you go? And I was like, okay, well, I told her, I was like, well, I probably won't go because number one, it's too far. like. Ultima is so far away, like, I have a friend that lives in the Melbourne area, kind of, and that's only like an hour, you know, it's not too far, and, like, the thing is, the roads that I take to go to, like, Melbourne and stuff aren't that, there's not a lot of traffic, you know, so it's not that bad, but, like, Ultima, I'll have to take, like, I-4, I would think, like, all the way, I don't even know how to get to Ultima, but I feel like it's, like, pretty far so i was like oh i'm probably not gonna go because it's like far which i hate that excuse for things but like honestly i make it sometimes and like i have school the next day and she was like oh i understand but i'm not planning on staying that long so i was like okay good so i was like okay and she was like oh and you can like ride with me so i just have to drive to london's place rather than like all the way to altamont which i was like okay it's even better so she was like, okay, if we leave at eight, is that good? So then you can get home by like nine, nine thirty or whatnot. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll go. I'm gonna go to this. It's not like a long thing. And I'm probably not even gonna vlog there or at all. Cause like, I don't know any of the people except for London and her boyfriend. So I'm definitely not gonna like film anything there. So. I'm um, just gonna do a time lapse of me getting ready. I'm wearing this outfit with like devil horns and like tennis shoes because she's like, oh, dress comfortable. I'm like, all right, this is comfortable, it's black. All right, may maybe the vlog should decide. Okay, uh, this will not fit. So therefore, See, it will not fit. Someone but dismeasured. I have all this, but I have all this stuff yeah. that goes inside here. It's a great P 
computer collection and I want to go and give that away to somebody and put up floating shelves, floating yeah. shelves. This wall right here, show the vlog. Floating shelves. Okay, all right. That's what I'd like to do to put my pewter collection on and the We'll items. see. Anyway, this is my outfit. <laughs> so this is called Curls Rushed because your girl was like, I need to leak leave now, but. So they're kind of sloppy, but it's fine. It gives some texture to the hair. They're fun. My friend, London was like, dress comfortable. So I just put this black dress on and then I have my devil horns and my tennis shoes. And then she needed um, something to wear on her head too. So I'm letting her borrow these. They're just alien antennas. I wore them last year to downtown with my uh, friend and her husband. Um, and then another friend of mine and Angie and Tanner, you guys have seen them. So I'm gonna take these and I have to get on the road now because it is 3.30. I got, I got Brada too, um, but I already ate it. Okay, so I'm back home now and just going to take off my makeup. It was really fun. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I met one of her friends named Ashley. So it's kind of funny. I have a friend named Ashley and she was really cool. She brought her baby. That was the first party that I've ever like been to like of a friends that like kids were being brought to so I was like kind of cool and the babies were so cute and like didn't really like cry or cause issues like at the party like it was super chill so that was cool and then we played this game I think it was called blank slate and so you would say like rain and then other people would like write the end so I put like rainbow and then my friend put rainstorm and basically like you would try to put things that like other people would put so if it was like C and then I put side and my friend London put side then we would get points so that's kind of how that game worked. I like that one because you didn't have to think too much I mean you had to think a little bit but it wasn't like too difficult but I will say there was one word that I'm like I cannot think of anything so I was like I don't know if this makes sense or not but I'm just gonna put this one so yeah it was really fun and now I cannot wait to jump in my beautiful bed I am so excited but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I tried to film like some of the stuff oh and they had some mores which is so not random but I was like that was like kind of unexpected. They were like, oh, we're doing some s'mores. I'm like, s'mores? Like, I didn't see any place where you could do s'mores, but they had this like cute little miniature s'more thing. And I was like, okay, okay, that was pretty cute. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.